let's take a moment to relax and breathe. Today, we're going to learn and explore how can journaling benefit your mental health. Ever feel lost in the maze of your emotions? Curious about the hidden depths of your mind? Today, we unlock the key to self-reflection, understanding, and mental resilience. Join us on a journey to discover the surprising power of one simple tool journaling. Hit that like button and subscribe for more enlightening content. Let's delve into the world of journaling and unravel its secrets together. Imagine for a moment a shipwrecked sailor from centuries ago. Alone and isolated with no means of communicating with the outside world, he begins to scribble his thoughts, fears, hopes, and daily experiences on pieces of parchment using squid. Over time, this act of writing becomes his anchor his coping mechanism, and his means of preserving sanity amidst vast stretches of loneliness. The tradition of journaling dates back thousands of years. The famous Roman emperor Marcus Aurelius penned his meditations, a collection of personal writings where he outlined his Stoic philosophy primarily for his own self-improvement. These writings were not meant for public eyes, but over the millennia, they've become revered philosophical texts, providing deep insights into the thoughts of one of history's most powerful leaders. What began as a personal endeavor to understand oneself better turned into a timeless work that still resonates with readers today. Recent research affirms the powerful impact journaling can have on mental health. A study from the University of Texas at Austin revealed that regular journaling can strengthen immune cells called T lymphocytes, potentially having a positive impact on physical health. Cambridge University's research emphasized how journaling can be a tool for emotional regulation, aiding in reducing the intensity of negative emotions and increasing feelings of well-being. Harvard Business School conducted a study indicating that reflective writing about one's experiences can lead to improved performance in cognitive processing. Now, let's explore the transformative world of journaling. Join us as we explore how can journaling benefit your mental health. If you're ready, let's get started. Introduction to journaling. Exploring ourselves and growing as people can be tough, but there's a simple tool that's been around for ages that can help. Just like famous artists and writers like Leonardo de Shine and Anne Frank, you can use a journal to reflect on your thoughts and feelings. It's like a mirror for your soul. In today's fast-paced world, where we are constantly bombarded by external stimuli, the art of journaling offers an oasis. It serves as a refuge, allowing us to retreat within and converse with our deepest selves. Journaling is not merely the act of writing. It's about understanding, healing, dreaming, and growing. It can be a chronicle of daily events, a therapeutic tool, a canvas for creativity, or even a strategy for problem solving. In research from institutions like the University of Texas at Austin and Cambridge University have highlighted the multitude of mental health benefits journaling can provide. From enhancing memory to managing stress, journaling has proven its efficacy time and again. Whether you're a seasoned journal keeper or just beginning to entertain the idea, understanding the essence and potential of journaling can be transformative. Let's embark on this journey, understanding the nuances, methodologies, and wonders of journal. Benefits of journaling and emotional processing? Emotions like waves, ebb and flow, sometimes calmly and at other times tumultuously. But how often do we truly allow ourselves the space to understand and process them. Every individual, at some point in their life, grapples with emotions that can be overwhelming, confusing, or even contradictory. In the midst of life's whirlwind, journaling stands as a lighthouse, guiding us towards emotional clarity. Writing as an act requires us to slow down, to shape our thoughts into words, to confront and name our feelings. This simple act has profound implications. When emotions remain undefined, they can often manifest as persistent anxiety, sadness, or James Pennebaker, a renowned psychologist from the University of Texas, found that the mere act of verbalizing or writing down emotions can act as a release, almost like venting to a trusted friend. By channeling emotions onto paper, 
One isn't merely documenting feelings. It's a process of validation, of recognizing and accepting one's emotional state. The narrative structure of writing helps in creating coherence from chaos. Imagine a tangled ball of threads representing your emotions. Each journal entry helps in pulling a single thread out, untangling the intricate web bit by bit, facilitating understanding and healing. And remember, emotional processing isn't about perfect prose or poetic entries. It's raw, real, and at times messy, but it's in this authenticity that the true magic of emotional healing through journaling, as we embrace journaling for emotional processing, we also embark on a journey of self-discovery, resilience, and deeper empathy, not just for others, but for ourselves, We're journaling enhancing self-awareness. We live in a world that's constantly in motion, a whirlwind of tasks, expectations, and external voices. But amid this external cacophony, how often do we truly listen to our own inner voice? Journaling serves as a mirror, reflecting back our deepest thoughts, aspirations, fears, and desires. It's not just about capturing moments, but about diving deep into the essence of who we truly are. Each word we pen down in our journal brings clarity to our thoughts and motives. As the pages accumulate, so does our understanding of our own patterns, habits, and triggers. The philosopher Socrates once said an unexamined life is not worth living. Through journaling, we embark on this path of introspection, taking stock of our actions, reactions, and the motivations behind them. Over time, as we revisit past entries, we start to notice patterns, recurring themes, consistent challenges, and personal growth trajectories. This awareness becomes the compass that guides our future actions and choices. Beyond understanding patterns, journaling cultivates gratitude and recognizes progress. By documenting small wins or moments of joy, we become more attuned to the positives in our life, enhancing overall contentment. Ultimately, journaling isn't just an act of recording, it's an evolving dialogue with oneself. A conversation that fosters growth, empathy, and a deep, authentic connection to our innermost self. In a world that often pushes us to be someone else, journaling brings us back, reminding us of our core essence and the beauty of our individual journey. Setting boundaries and goals through journaling. Have you ever felt overwhelmed, like you're being pulled in a hundred different directions. In our multifaceted lives, setting boundaries and goals is the roadmap that keeps us on track. Journaling is more than just a repository of thoughts. It's a tool for structure and intentionality. It's where the chaos of our minds finds order. As we lay down our boundaries on paper, we give them tangible form, transforming abstract thoughts into actionable steps. Setting boundaries through journaling is a declaration of self-worth. It's our personal manifesto that says, this is what I need to thrive, to be healthy and to be true to myself. But it's not just about creating walls. It's about building bridges, bridges towards our goals. Writing down our goals in a journal is akin to setting a destination on a GPS. It provides clarity, direction, and purpose Research has shown that individuals who regularly jot down their goals are significantly more likely to achieve them. It's the constant reminder, the written commitment, by revisiting these goals. We can also refine them, adapting to changes and ensuring they align with our evolving journey. Boundaries and goals, though distinct, work in tandem through journaling. While boundaries ensure we protect our energy and values, goals give us a direction to channel that energy. As we close the pages of our journal, we open up a world of intentional living where we navigate our journey with clarity, purpose, and respect for our own boundaries, enhancing creativity and problem solving with journaling. In the labyrinth of our minds, two forces often coexist but rarely meet. Creativity and problem solving. Journaling offers a unique playground for these two powers, allowing them to dance together, birthing innovative ideas and solutions. Every blank page of a journal invites unbridled creativity. There are no rules, no judgments, just infinite possibilities. 
As we allow our imaginations to roam free, we often stumble upon unexpected insights, novel ideas, and out-of-the-box solutions. Research from the University of California showed that regular journaling can increase one's cognitive processing abilities and foster creative thinking. But it's not just about ideation. Journaling serves as a problem-solving tool, allowing us to untangle complex challenges by laying them out on paper. In writing, we externalize the problem, view it from multiple perspectives, and often discover a path we hadn't previously considered. Furthermore, by juxtaposing creativity with structured thinking, journaling offers a holistic approach to problem solving. It encourages us not just to find a solution, but to invent one. Whether you're brainstorming for a new project, seeking innovative solutions, or just allowing your thoughts to flow, journaling can be your catalyst. In conclusion, our journals can be more than just diaries of our day. They can be sanctuaries of innovation and wisdom. Every page turned can be a step towards a more creative and solution-driven mindset, improving memory and cognitive skills through journaling. Memory is the diary that we all carry about with us, said Oscar Wilde. But what happens when we give that diary a physical form? Journaling has long been heralded for its therapeutic benefits, but its ability to bolster memory and cognitive skills is a marvel in itself. By putting pen to paper, we reinforce the neural pathways associated with the memories we recall. In essence, the act of writing helps etch these moments more deeply into our minds. Beyond memory reinforcement, journaling challenges our cognitive skills. When we articulate our experiences, feelings, and thoughts on paper, we engage in deep reflection, analysis, and synthesis. Furthermore, by revisiting past journal entries, we exercise our recall abilities, often bringing to light long-forgotten events or details. It's not just about the past, though. Journaling promotes mindfulness and enhances present moment awareness. By consistently recording daily events, our attention to detail sharpens, making us more attuned observers. In conclusion, journaling is like a gym for the brain. It fosters mental agility, sharpens memory, and fine-tunes our cognitive muscles. So the next time you pen down a memory, know that you're not just preserving the past, but fortifying your future cognitive self. This concludes our video, How Can Journaling Benefit Your Mental Health? Journaling, as we've come to understand, is more than just a hobby or a fleeting trend. It's a deeply therapeutic activity bridging the gap between our conscious and subconscious mind. It allows for self-expression, clarity of thought, emotional detox, and personal growth in a world constantly moving where we often forget to pause and reflect. Journaling stands as a beacon, inviting us to sit down, introspect, and truly engage with our emotions and thoughts. Whether you're looking to navigate challenging emotions, celebrate joyful moments, or simply get to know yourself better, journaling can be your guiding star. We hope this video has shed light on the myriad ways this simple yet profound practice can bolster your mental health. Remember, the journey of understanding oneself is ongoing, and every entry you pen down is a step closer to your authentic self. Now, we invite you to reflect and engage. Have you ever tried journaling? And if so, what was your most profound realization or discovery about yourself? How do you think journaling can help in today's fast-paced digital age? What obstacles or hesitations do you face when considering starting a journaling habit? If you were to begin journaling today, what would be the first topic or emotion you'd want to delve into? Please share your insights in the comments section below. Your experiences and thoughts might inspire someone else to embark on this transformative journey. Let's foster a community where we grow, reflect, and heal together. Thank you for joining us in this introspective journey into the world of journaling. Stay connected and keep delving deeper into your own psyche. Remember, every thought and emotion penned down is an opportunity for growth and clarity. If you find that your thoughts and feelings remain jumbled or overwhelming, it might be beneficial to seek guidance from a therapist or counselor.
They can provide strategies and insights to harness the power of journaling effectively for your mental well-being. 